Hello everyone, here's a question from integers. The question is, product of two integers is 256. If one of the integers is minus 8, then the other is. Now what they have given? They have given that the product of two integers means when you multiply two integers, the answer is 256. So if I'm multiplying here two numbers, the answer is 256 and they have given one integer which is minus 8. Suppose this is minus 8, we have to find out the other one. So this other number, I'm going to assume it has x. Okay, and we're gonna solve it. So let me just frame this once again. So here is a solution. So they have given product of two integers, right? So product of two integers is equal to 256. And they have given one integer. So one integer is equal to minus 8. We have to find out the other one. So we're going to take the other integer to be any variable. You can take a variable x or you can take abc completely upon you. So uh, the other integer will be equal to x. Now if I frame this like how I did before, it will be like minus 8 multiplied by x is equal to 256. So when you multiply this two, you will get minus 8x or since we want the value of x, we are going to transpose minus 8 to the other side. So x will be equal to 256 divided by minus 8. Now you can cancel this in 8 table or you can cancel this in 2 table completely upon you. I am going to cancel directly in 8 table. 8 ones are 8. 8 threes are 24. So 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 16 and 8 twos are 16. So we got here 32. Now remember there is a negative sign in the denominator. So it doesn't matter if negative sign is there in the denominator or in the numerator, you will get the whole number to be negative. They are actually equivalent. If you have learned the, the rational numbers chapter, you will understand this concept that uh, we can able to write down the equivalent uh, fraction or equivalent rational number where negative sign can be in the numerator too. So I have seen a lot of comments that the negative sign cannot be there in the denominator. That's false. Negative sign can be there in the denominator, but you don't usually write it. So the answer will be uh, actually it should it can be either 32 upon minus 1 or to you can just avoid this and you can write down minus 32 anything they both are same the value of the number remains same which is minus 32 i hope this question is clear and in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching